Hello everyone, it's Arlena from a Tiny Crocheter and today we're going to be making this flower pot. It is a perfect little crochet home decor to add to your desk or anywhere you prefer. Beautiful little roses or flowers. And without further ado, let's get started. To make the flower pot, you're going to need Lion Brand Comfy Cotton Blend in Whipped Cream and Ocean Breeze. Whatever you have left of. And you're also going to need a 4mm crochet hook, a yarn needle, or some cotton or scrap yarn that you have left over. So let's get started. We're first going to start off with the base of the plant pot. So first you're going to make a circle. You can choose to make it in a magic ring or the chain loop way, which is how I prefer. So first you're going to make a slip knot. And then you're going to chain two. And in the first chain from the hook, you're going to single crochet six times in that one chain. So one. Two. Then you're going to pull on the string to make it tight. And then you're going to start off with your next row. So in the second row, oops, in that second row, you're going to increase in every single stitch of the ring. So you're going to start off connecting together the ring. So. One, but then you're going to single crochet again. Sorry, in that same, in that same stitch. Like so. Two stitches, and no, two single crochets in that same stitch. And I'm going to repeat that all across. And to start off your third row, you're going to increase. Increase is two single crochets in one stitch. So in the, your third row, you're going to increase and single crochet. So you're going to have two single crochets in the next stitch. One in the next. And an increase. You're going to repeat the pattern of increase and in single crochet all across for your third row. And after you finish your third row of an increase and single crochet, you're going to 
increase and two single crochet and then repeating that pattern all around for your fourth row. So you're going to increase So two single crochets in one stitch and going to single crochet two times so one two before repeating the pattern again single crochet of an increase and two single crochet And to start your fifth row, after an increase and two single crochet, you're going to, for your fifth row, have an increase and three single crochet. If you haven't seen a pattern already, it's go it started off as increase and one single crochet, an increase and two single crochet. And now we're going to have an increase and three single crochet. So you start off with an increase. And the next three stitches, you're going to single crochet. Then to start off your sixth row, you're going to have an increase and four stitches. So an increase like so, and one, two, three, and four. And you're going to repeat that for the next row.
Then to start off the last base row of the pot itself, you're going to have an increase and five single crochets. So an increase like so and one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to repeat that for the rest of the row. After you're done with the last row, which is the increase and five single crochet, you're going to start building the pot upwards. So you're going to single crochet in a back stitch of your last row. So you're going to single crochet, you're going to single crochet into the last, the back loop. So like so. You're going to skip that front stitch. Normally you would work straight into like so but you would instead work into the back loop of the single crochet. And you repeat that for the rest of the row and to build up upwards for the pot.
After you reach the row, the end of the row where you work backstitch loops, you're going to start single crocheting into every normal stitch without working into a back loop of anything. You're just going to single crochet into every stitch normally without any back loops. This will form the edge of where it grows, the pot grows up and you're going to crochet, you're going to single crochet up until your desired length. While you can choose how long or why you should want to make it, I chose to make it to nine rows. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And when you reach nine rows or to your desired length, we're now going to decrease. So we're going to decrease. So skip a stitch and go to the next. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. The two loops on the hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through. That's an invisible decrease. And then you're going to single crochet four times in the next four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. And you're going to repeat this pattern across the rest of the row. So a decrease and four single crochets. And after you reach the end of the decrease row, you're now going to single crochet in every single stitch and build up until your desired length as well. After you crocheted the base of a planter, I made five rows after the decrease row, and it's time to make the fold of the plant pot itself. So after you're done making your last row, you're going to chain two, so yarn over, pull through and chain two and in that first stitch you're going to yarn over and into the front loop insert your hook yarn over pull through you now have three loops on your hook so you're going to yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and you're going to repeat that into every single front loop you're going to double crochet yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and you're going to double crochet into the front loop all the way around
After you reach the finish first row of your double crochet, you're going to join the first row by starting off the next row by sink double crocheting again without working into a back loop, just into as how you would normally work a stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and double crochet. And you'll work that through every stitch around the first row of double crochet. After you finish the second row of the fold, you're going to slip stitch into skip a chain and into a next chain, insert your hook in, yarn over, pull through, and pull through into our next. And then you're going to cut the yarn tail. And you're going to pull through and that is the base of your pot and you're going to fold it over like so for the soil that's going to be on top of the pot you're we're going to use the ocean breeze yarn it's similar to how the base of the plant plant pot itself was made except this was made in an increase and five single crochet for the pot you're going to have 
an increase and four single crochet and increase one two three four so you're going to work the soil until it has increased and four single crochet and after you have that done for the soil you're going to single crochet three times all across for three rows one two and three After you reach three rows of the soil, you're going to decrease for it to fit in to the plant pot. So to decrease, you're going to skip a stitch and work into the next stitch of the row. So insert, yarn over, and pull through. And single crochet two times. And you're going to work that for the rest of the row. So a decrease and two single crochets. I've previously cut the yarn before, so you're just going to slip stitch and pull it through. You're not going to need to leave a yarn tail because you're going to use the tail from the plant pot to sew the soil on top of the pot. So now you have two parts, it's time to move on to the flowers. To make a flower, you're first going to chain, let's make 25 for this one. So you're going to make a slip knot and chain 25 and after you chain 25 you're going to skip the first two chain from a hook, one, two, and work into the third chain. So you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into a third chain from a hook, yarn over, and pull through. So it's a double crochet. So you're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And in that same stitch, you're going to work another four stitches. So two, Three. You're going to count the first two chains as a double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. These are going to form petals of the roses. 
Next, you're going to skip the first chain and work into the second chain. You're going to insert your hook into that second chain, yarn over, pull through, and pull through to the slip stitch. And you're going to skip the next stitch and work into the next stitch as well. So you're going to skip one here, skip one here. And you're going to start off another petal after a slip stitch. So skip one, yarn over, pull through. And in that one chain, you're going to have six double crochets as the first one. And you're going to repeat that all across the rest of the row. To assemble one of our flowers, you're first going to have these chain petals. This is the chain 25 one. You're going to start off the row that you first started at the chain beginning. You're going to start rolling them. Like so. It's pretty straightforward. You're going to roll them all together and at the end, secure the roll by sewing it in and securing the shape. It doesn't have to be neat and there's no specific sewing technique. It's just securing the petals in and securing the shape itself. Like so, and you're going to do that to all eight of your flowers. For this flower pot, you're going to need around 11 flowers with multiple sizes or however amount of flowers needed to cover the entire top of the soil to hide this dome. I made four flowers in chain 25 and another four in chain 35 and three in chain 45. After you sew together your flowers, it's time to assemble the flower pot and the soil itself before you can sew on the flowers. So first you're going to thread the tail from the planter since that is going to be how you attach the soil to the planter itself. And you're going to sew it so it's in between the planter pot itself. Of course you have to stuff the planter itself and the soil with some scrap yarn or cotton and since there's no tail on the soil you're going to sew the soil to the folds underneath the underneath the folds of the plant pot so here and you're just going to secure it on
tip for me is to use these pins to check out the placement of the flowers on the pot before assembling them. And this should be your finished product. I hope you enjoy making this flower pot as much as I did. And the free written pattern is linked in the description below on my tiny crochet blog. And I hope you subscribe, leave a like, and comment whether you made it or not. And I'll see you next time. Bye!